What's up, my friends, my fellow otters? Alex O Crypto here, and today was a wild day. We got a red X on the four hour. It brought us down. We have blood diamonds, I believe, on the two hour. It brought us down. Where do we go from here? Are we going to get dumped on? We actually had some weekend close volume. Now, we're here to make otters great again. And I hope you all know that shout out to Dave Digital for making these. They're absolutely hilarious. Let's keep them up. Let's get some money and profits out of these beautiful beautiful levels that we had with all the confluence and don't forget everybody that this is what the lineup looks like 60k bitcoin everybody's got the you know oh we're going to 100k you know and then boom we come back down and now we're at 16 look at the bargain we have right now so don't forget to accumulate those bags slowly but surely but could we see more down pressure now that's what we're here to discuss what is in the future for us and what is coming up this week for an exciting week in the beautiful Bitcoin price. So we bought the dip, but it kept on dipping. Now, how many people FOMO'd in and got wrecked? That's what I want to know. I bought the dip, but it keeps on dipping, right? Right? Risk management. So where did, what happened today? So we came up and we dumped that's exactly what happened so we're gonna pull our fixed range from here to here we pull that and we get a beautiful beautiful range coming in with the value area highs the point of control and the volume area lows now look where I pulled that from as you can see I like to use the fixed range volume profile to be more specific so we don't get everything that the VR VP puts into this as well Right, because if we were zoomed out just a little bit more, we could get something like this. And how are you going to read that? Right. So, looking at this, I'm going to pull up my levels because I'm pretty sure I already got them marked out. So, bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Let's take a deeper look. Oopsie, deeper look into all of this and what happened today, and what we can expect this coming week because this is going to be exciting are you guys excited i'm excited for this week this is the like holiday special that's coming to us right the otter gang is ready to extract some money out of these markets we're going to fill up them bags so that we can pay for all the christmas presents that we did or did not receive right so what happened well if you watched this watch this video yesterday because i post every single day you would have had this marked out on your chart you would have had this beautiful level right here that we came up perfectly and hit we go to the 12 because you know i love the 12 and we came up perfectly and guess what this was around five in the morning for myself i was on my way to work monday morning in australia now you guys there on the other hand had plenty of opportunity to be trading this because i'm sure it's mid-afternoon for you guys so what happened if you had this mar marked out we came right up perfectly with this beautiful beautiful wickety 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 wick with minor volume a bit more volume compared to most times but minor volume wicked up and then wow what happened what happened because i know we all watch this right i know we we let's make it look extra dramatic let's let's pull it we, and guess what we had this marked out remember the psychological 1700 we had marked out yesterday well we had a box above this box here but we said these two boxes work together we said that yesterday as well. So guess what? We've come back into that box that we marked out yesterday. Another one of our levels. Now, can we continue lower? Can we actually go and scoop up all this liquidity over here at 17.6? Because we know that there's liquidity down here because we can see it. We can see it. We got a huge wick down over here, right? This is the liquidity. So will we come back and scoop these guys up, right? Because then we had a boom and pump, a boom and pump. I'll say that one more time. A booming pump. <laughs> Anyways, so there's liquidity down here at 16.6. And obviously, 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 we have our point of control coming in at 16.5, right? So we have these marked out. We have 16.6 marked out. 
right? We had this marked out from yesterday, pulling a fibs from the bottom of this area here, all the way up to the top here. Ooh, look what it hits. If you had pulled this fibs earlier on today, you would have been able to get into this trade perfectly bounced, right? Maybe a little scalp, whatever, but it stopped here, right? Can't stop to you. Anyways, I'm going to get copyrighted, so I won't finish that. But look, what is going to happen this week? We have interest rates coming out. Now, they've been saying <laughs> 0.75 basis point hike. Well, if we get a 0.5 basis hike, that is dovish, right? I know it sucks. Another 0.5. They're trying to curve this inflation. It's been brutal. But if it comes in at a 0.5, I do believe that we will have a pump. It can look something like this. It can look a little bit like a fake out, right? We can get a move from here, back up to here, to the bottom of this range, up top here, and then back down either to here or the point of control. And that would line us up perfect for this shot here where we can fill up our bags. And can this bring us up all the way to the points that we've been talking about this whole time for the past almost month? 21 videos in. So 21 videos ago, we've been talking about all this previous low, all these things up here that we could hit because there's a giant volume gap up in here. We know that. We've reiterated and iterated it. Again, I can show you, but this time I'm going to skip it because I'm just trying to say, let's trade the levels. If you had marked out these levels earlier on yesterday, you would have been able to get into this trade, a big juicy, profitable trade down to the downside. I know we haven't had much action, but if you had marked this out from top to low, you would have had a 2.2 move, right? That's a beautiful move. A little bit of leverage, fill up the bags, right? Would have been and enjoyed it instead of FOMOing here and FOMOing here, right? So what am I looking for now? I came home. I did not get this one, right? But I'm in here. I got in over here at 16.8, around this area, and I'm gonna see. Maybe we can work our way up. I've taken some profits, and maybe we can work our way up. Do I think we could get a bounce? Absolutely, always plan on a bounce. So I'm gonna pull fibs from the top of this range here, all the way down to this range here, like I always would, right? Like I always would, and look, that's confluence, right? That's confluence with the bottom of this range. So, what can we expect? We can expect right now for it to open on the S&P and all those other great things and watch for confluence, watch for the US markets and watch if we do get a pump, right? Because it's evening right now, we can watch the S&P 500 E mini futures. It will start moving before anything else, right? So look, we're, we're moving slowly upwards. Can we bounce off this level here and move slowly upwards, right? Um, it's important to watch the S&P mini futures on a Sunday evening because you get movement before we get actual movement in these markets over here at the S&P 500 and all those other markets. So that's a little trick is that you like to look at this one on Sundays and maybe get in a little bit earlier and get some trades going, right? That's just how I would do it. But right now we're looking for a move. What can we look for? Well, I'm going to delete this box. I'm going to look at my liquidity. It's down here at 16.6. I have it marked out, right, with a box. Swing high to swing low. Can we zoom out and can we pull some fibs to give us some confluence? Of course we can, right? So let's go to the one hour. Let's zoom in. Do we have any major fibs coming from, let's say, here to here? Whew. Look at that. Look at that. Whew. That was just first trying to warm ups. Well, we can say that this box is a big range, right? Make this box beautiful. Just like we're going to make the others great again. <laughs> we're already great. Come on. We already know that. <laughs> uh, I hope you're all having fun. God bless you, and I love you. So I just want to ask, if you don't mind, would you smash up those like buttons? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all your support. It helps this get it out to everyone, and I appreciate you all. I'm trying to give you the levels on a daily basis. I have set you up with two nice trades for today and yesterday. So what are we looking for? We are looking for a pump up back up to this top of this range over here. Mark this one out too, right? As we would call it, a fake out to the upside, right? 
we still have this range up here. This top. I would delete this one now because that's not relevant. We've already hit it, right? This one, oopsie, delete. We can move this one up to here, right? We can zoom out and give you guys these levels. Now, these are the levels. I would take these levels down. I would adjust them as we're going. Remember, swing high to swing low. If we come in and we set in a lower low, well, that means you pull a fibs lower, right? This is our most recent high. So if I zoom in here, this is our most recent high. We're going to look for something off of here to down here. If we put it in a lower low, well, this just follows it, right? And it comes lower and lower and lower, right? But right now, could we get a retracement? Something like this. Absolutely, right? Can we continue and get this after pulling liquidity at 16.6? Absolutely. These are the things I'm looking for. I'm not looking to trade this right here. I've already caught this down here. Taking some profit. Sorry, I've already... Let me correct myself. Honesty is very important in this industry. I've already gone in here. Already taking some profits. Maybe we get out here. Keep taking profits, right? My next text pro take profit will be at the 0.5 up here. Maybe it's 382 because the volume is really low. But I don't believe the volume will be low for, for much longer because this weekend we're setting up for this, this tube, this beautiful tube. <laughs> this tube of profit, hopefully, if we can trade this right, my fellow waters, we can make some money. So let's be, be that's paper money, of course, So because this is not financial advice. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what I'm looking for, right? Remember, what do we always preach at this channel? What do we always preach? We always preach. We always preach. Sorry about that. We always preach that we have to have mind is right. We have to have a plan. We look at support and resistance. We look at time frames, right? We look at volume profiles. We look at Fibonacci levels and trends. The trend right now has reversed. It's coming down, right? We got this beautiful Bart Simpson pattern, right? Beautiful Bart Simpson. I think this is even yellow, just for you guys. We'll make it even vert more vertical so it looks even more dramatic. But we come up and we got Bart, right? And Bart is upset now, right? He's upset because we're coming down. This has changed. So what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for more downside, but we're also looking to trade these levels. Right now we're stuck in the middle. We've bounced off of here. Great. We got liquidity down 16.6 to grab. Great. Will we be ready? Absolutely. So let's look for a bounce off of here or a swing failure down to here, right? We can work our way back to this point of control and we can make our way up to volume area high, but we need we need to have volume in order to crush through these, right? So let's be prepared. Let's be ready. And let's go get them, Otters, because I love you all. Remember, courage and risk management, number one. Number one things to practice at all times. Remember, don't, don't put that stop loss too low, right? Don't get liquidated. Save your capital. There's always going to be more trades. No FOMO in. Stay legendary. I love you, Otters. Take care.